I'm Adam Hooks, the curator of the books that made Shakespeare, and I'm holding a 17th century copy of Shakespeare's play, Othello. Some of Shakespeare's plays were initially published individually as small, slim pamphlets, as opposed to the larger folio format of the collected plays. Editions of individual plays remained popular throughout the 17th century. This edition of Othello was advertised as both an old and a new play. The title page mentions performances at the Globe and the Blackfriars theaters, where they were first performed by Shakespeare's company, as well as recent performances at the Theatre Royal in late 17th century London. Unlike the earliest editions, this book includes a dramatis personae, a list of characters that identifies the actors and actresses who played each principal part. And the publisher has taken the opportunity to include an advertisement on the recto of this leaf, advertising other books that he has published recently. At some point, this copy was interleaved with blank pages which were used to take notes on the play. Opposite the first page of text, a reader has identified the first instance in which the villain Iago purports to reveal his motivation. This book was once owned by Marsden J. Perry, an important early 20th century Shakespeare collector.